Well, everything is in the shop. <laughs> We're fixing to pull the tank on this and put the fuel pump in it. Had to make some adjustments on that power steering pump. <laughs> but now we got to let it sit for 24 hours before we can put the put it back on the uh, power steering pump. If it don't work, I'm just going to put the old one on, order a new one, and then Miata, we just had to push it forward as far as we could because it doesn't have a top. We would put it outside, but it's raining right now. So that's where we are now. So let's pull this tank. Well, guess what I got? Bam. Fuel filter. Um, so... Pulled the fuel pump out, replaced it. It was disgusting. Here are the uh, filters that came off of it. Just pure disgusting. And it was like almost black fuel coming out of the fuel pump. Like when I opened it up to pull, pull the fuel pump out. And then the same way with the filter. I didn't, ever, I didn't get the filter. I just ordered the fuel pump. So got the uh, fuel filter in. I'm just to put it in. I know this looks super sketchy. But just to put it in and see if it runs good. Hopefully it will. All right, so we got it on. Now I think my jack's not tall enough. I had to stack stuff up on my jack to get it up this tall to get it on these wheels. So what I think I'm gonna do is just drive off of it because my jack is not tall enough. I don't have anybody here watching, so I'm just gonna drive off of it. Don't do this at home. <laughs> What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Dylan finally made it out to the house. He's working on my hinge that's stuck. I didn't mention that in the last video, the video where I took the doors off. <laughs> Showed you how to do it, but he didn't finish it. <laughs> Jeep's fixed, got a new power steering pump. Works nicely. And a new alternator. I don't know if you can see it, but it's down there. Very nice. And we've got, there's my muffler, gotta put it on. We've got the meats. We've got the meats. <laughs> this is going on the Miata, the rear of the Miata. He's gonna try and get me the other two for the front. They're a little bit, you said they're a little bit bald, but they got knotties yeah, on the side. Okay. Yeah, he said we'll see. They're still there. Hopefully they're still there and he'll be able to get them. Got some heat, hopefully. This thing, uh, sorry, my hands are dirty. I'm working on the tool. Worked on the tool all morning. Put a new alternator in it, finally. I didn't know you had to take everything off the top of the motor to get to that, but whatever. But uh, fixed, finally. Now the bumper goes back on and the new parts go on the front. It's going to be great. Heat goes in here. Hopefully this fixes the problem. New fuel pump, new fuel filter. Still got horrible gas in it. Heat should fix it. Let's try. If you're not up to date on this Focus, it was graciously given to us by Coleman Auto Rebuilders. Link in description. He sponsored this. It was supposed to be just a car we bashed up, but it wasn't running good enough to bash up, so we decided to fix it up a little bit. So that's what we did. We bought a coil cool pack and we gutted the cat. Here's a video of that. And glowing red hot. So we think the cat. Alternator wire runs down there. It's hung on the exhaust. Oh no, look at that. It's glowing, dude. Look at that. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah the cat was like i guess overheating because it was stopped up so we just gutted it um i put new plugs and wires on it still didn't fix sort of the the you stomp it on the stomp it to the floor and it was like cutting out and wouldn't really run so i bought a fuel pump we pulled the tank down and it was just black gas it was awful so we drained as much as we could put the fuel pump in it and took the fuel filter off replaced it took the fuel filter off and dumped it it was black coming out of it it was insane 
how bad it was. Put a new fuel filter on it. Crack it up, it runs a little bit better. It doesn't have that where you stomp on it, but it's still kind of weak. So I got some heat. Hopefully that's gonna clear the issue up. Maybe a couple more times, more gas. I put 93 in it, so maybe that helps a little bit. So I'm gonna crank it up and see what happens. It was doing really good yesterday. I still think it's got like really bad fuel in it. See, every now and then it'll run good. This thing is definitely running a lot better than it's ever had. So I'm, I feel really good about that. Like I said, it is just a gambler car, so we're not really gonna, you know, do too much to it. But this is probably as far as we're going mechanic-wise. The run's a lot better. We are gonna use it in the next gambler, that and the Miata. So hopefully it all goes well. Got a new battery for the Miata, and we got tires. We're just gonna go put those on. So let's go do that. Yes, it's, it is definitely running a lot better. I can, I can tell it's definitely running a lot better. Playing with the battery. I told him just tied up. He was like, no, I'm gonna fix it the right way. What a, what a loser. I am not battery. <laughs> well, look at that. We got him on. There's a, I mean, it's super close. It's super close. The lift should fix this and rinse it up and it shouldn't. If not, I'm just gonna chop just a little bit with the saws off through there. And I'm, of course I'm taking the back bumper off. We don't need that. Dylan suggested I cut it like in the seam right here. All the way down. But uh, only time will tell. We'll see. We're just gonna see how it rides around on these tires. Hopefully it's okay. Mr. Do It Right. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> it's a bit big, the battery. It's a bit big for the Miata. But hopefully it'll crank it up and it'll run and drive. Oh, I gotta tighten up that radiator hose. You better do it right now before I forget again. Yeah, well, we got the tires put on. Scrubs a little bit in the back. Still needs a little bit of a lift kit, but let's see if it'll do some donuts. Down the other way, so the tire will push down on this side. You know what? Right, they're doing the other way. attempt to drive the Miata and the Focus to the store and put some gas in them. Hopefully I don't run out because I know that thing's pretty low and this is pretty low. <laughs> so maybe we'll make it to the store. Dylan's driving the Focus and I'm driving the Miata with the big fat wheels on the back of it. This thing is so rad, totally unexpected, super rad. But yeah, we're gonna go to the store real quick. These tires are rubbing so bad. We're gonna have to lift it. <laughs> Which that was the plan anyway. So. That's 
Dylan behind me in the focus. We're headed to the store. The steering a little crooked. Well, boys, we made it to the gas station. <laughs> we filled these things up, see if they'd run any better. I can't believe 